hey y'all hey y'all hey y'all welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be about womb healing how to womb heal through spiritual bath and if that is something that you are interested in keep on watching First, starting off, I am going to talk a little bit about pregnancy, or I'm going to uh, refer to pregnancy a little bit in this video, and that is something that I have not firsthand experienced, so I'm not like 100% knowledgeable on how everything goes on that. I have done a lot of research on it, but if I say point blank period, if I say anything um, that's wrong about pregnancy or birth or the after effects or anything like that, or anything that you think that is wrong that's not just your opinion, uh, comment that down below, let me know. Don't let me just say some wrong shit up here, okay? Thank you. So that being said, let's get right into this video. So I'm talking about womb healing and I, so, First things first, what is the womb? Is when I say womb, I'm talking about our uteruses. So if you didn't know that, now you know. Y'all don't look at these, okay? These clearly ain't got no respect for me and they were supposed to be straight. Don't worry about it. So anyway, when I'm saying the womb, I'm talking about your uterus. I'm talking about your creation center. What I mean by creation center is this is where women create. This is where, this is where creation for a woman comes from for example life for example having a baby and even when your uterus is not having a baby it's preparing to create something it is always constantly trying to create your womb is your creation center that's where all creation goes through not only that but your womb is also where any energy flows through this is where a lot of our emotional baggage is stored a lot of our traumatic experiences are stored because any energy that is flowing through you has to go through your uterus so if you were to ask me why would i womb heal i would tell you to balance your life and to heal any traumatic experiences that you've had and if you have had a baby if you have gone through pregnancy womb healing is crucial because you have just done a very 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 traumatic thing to your body um you allowed another human to create themselves in you within you and then you eliminated that uh not eliminated that sounds that sounds harsh but what i mean you, you allowed it to pass through your body you allowed a human to create itself through you use you just as a home it was pretty much like a sucky bitch okay like this thing just took all the energy out of you okay joking around i'm joking when i'm saying all of this but it's very it's an exhausting process and it's all happening through you and your womb so if you have ever had a baby that is very traumatic experience experience to your body and you should be womb healing um you should take the time out to womb heal you would have a different kind of womb healing journey than somebody who has a traumatic experience like rape or molestation yes that's different um but you should be womb healing too um automatic you should be womb healing another reason why you should be womb healing is if you have heavy um periods if you have irregular periods if you have fibroids pcos if you have depression anxiety um pretty much if you're just a mess and then just all around in general we should as women be honoring our womb because that is our creation space that is where we create so if you are having lack of product uh, productivity if you are having a lack of creativity if you're having i don't know why i say creativity like that anyway if you're having a lot of unfinished projects if you're not following through if you're procrastinating you should be womb healing pretty much if you have a womb you need to be womb healing okay so all of that being said this is how i have been womb healing through spiritual baths I think I'm gonna have a series a little bit. I'm gonna talk about foods for womb healing, essential oils for womb healing, teas for womb healing, and books also for womb healing. I'm gonna have a whole series of this because it's important to me. <laughs> And I want everybody to know. So this is how I take my spiritual bath. If you don't have every single last ingredient that I used in my spiritual bath, it's okay to work your way up to these things. As long as you are pretty much just taking time out for yourself to cater to your womb and cater to your womanhood and cater to just you and relaxation and tending to your mind and your body and trying to balance those. Um, you don't have to have every single last thing that I have. Because I buy a lot of stuff because I got issues and I need to heal that too. 
so what I do I start by um, cleaning super duper cleaning like heavy you know that heavy spring clean you gotta bleach like you need to clean clean your um, bathroom I'm not talking about like a quick little pickup I need everything clean the flows the sink the toilet the everything the, the walls the everything that's pretty much just to get all of the the energetic dirt out of there because you know when you just feel like for example nobody wants to walk by a garbage can barefoot because that just feels gross and that's you don't want to feel like that when you're walking to your bathroom and you're about to take a bath and you're about to submerge your entire body in this bath water okay you want to feel clean like super clean so that is the first step clean your bathroom like crazy um second thing take palo santo i know a lot of people say take sage but um i like to do that for my just regular spiritual bathrooms when i'm more um focusing on chakras all the way throughout my body i like to do a full sage but when i'm focusing on my womb i like to take my palo santo because that is a sweeter wood and then it's not going to eliminate every energy in there so it's going to only eliminate the negative ones or negative energies or um the negative ions in your body or not in your body in your space sorry um and it's going to leave the sweeter energies in your space and you are womb healing so you'd want to leave the sweeter energies in your body or why don't you want to say in your body in your space so when you light the palo santo you uh, let it burn and you're using the smoke to cleanse your area and that's called smudging so i smudge my tub i smudge the toilet i don't full-on dip it in there but you know what i mean like you just kind of wave it around and you let the smoke hit your toilet i smudge the sink i smudge the entire room i also leave the windows open so then energies can the bad negative energies can flow out of my space because get the hell up out of here because i ain't got time for you sis i ain't got time for you leave them sweet energies that negative stuff get get the hell up out of here okay get the hell up out of here so i smudge my entire bathroom and then i let all that smoke leave so then i'll start to run my bath water and then pull out my epsom salt i will i think mine is scented citrus and then i'll pour that all in my bath um i'll make sure the water is hot when I very first start so then my salts can dissolve in there quickly that in my bath and then I'll bring out my herbs such as you what you can use is peppermint lavender chamomile for this one I wanted to use the ones that are sweeter and they're more flowery um, so I use lavender and I use chamomile in for my dried herbs um, and I put those I pour those in the bath what I also like to do is add in flowers um, for this spiritual bath because I am healing my yoni my room I wanted to add in um, rose and sunflowers because those are very feminine so I put those in my bath and those really just bring out the feminine in me um, so that I can really connect with my womb because obviously like I said before what makes you a woman is your womb so if you are really connecting with your womanly womanhood then those two just match okay pretty much that's what I'm saying um, you can add in any kind of oil in here. I did not add any oil, but um, if you want to, I recommend adding in frankincense essential oil to your bath. Um, and then as that's in there, I'll start to light my candle. I believe in this one I used a red candle and I also used a green candle. Um, I should have used my pink candle that I have and it's got a pink bottom. Shameless plug, if you want to buy this from me, you totally can. It's got a pink bottom. It's really cute. Um, but I would use something like this. I don't know why I didn't. But this one does represent love, fertility, and compassion. And it goes along with the rose quartz. Um, Speaking of rose quartz, I do use crystals during this. If you see on the side of my bath, I did add my pyramid. That is my full chakra pyramid because I do like to activate kundalini when I'm trying to do my um, spiritual womb baths. I also like to add in my rose quartz pyramid. I have some other rose quartz like the uh, actual raw crystal you can use that you don't have to have pyramids but this is just simple for me to put down um, and then also I like to add in my black tourmaline to repel any negative energy that may enter that may flow through my mind and through my body um, anything like that so those are the three crystals that I like to set along my thing you can add in whichever ones that you do that you uh, desire the ones that you think that you need but I definitely say incorporate rose quartz for a fact period 
period so after your entire bath is ran you got your crystals you've done your smudging you've cleaned everything everything looks nice and you are ready to pretty much get in turn on womb healing um, uh, turn on a womb healing meditation that's what I like to do um, and I do recommend that for your first like two times so then you know the thoughts that you should be putting in your head um, or the thoughts that you should be thinking to connect with your womb so instead of this just being like a normal bath that's really luxurious you're able to be in the mind frame of womb healing and you're able to say the affirmations for womb healing and you're able to connect with womb healing i'm not gonna lie the first time i did this i cried i cried i was so sad uh i need to keep on womb healing but anyway uh you might cry and if you do cry that is that is pretty much the point that you should be getting to if you're not a crier you're not a crier i'm totally a crier but um crying is definitely the release so you don't ever want to fight any of the emotions that you're feeling feel them allow them to flow through you and allow your womb to feel them and then allow you to forgive yourself and allow your womb to forgive you for anything that you've put her through Un unknowingly or unintentionally there are a few prayers that you can say if you look them up on google i don't want to tell you guys what prayers to say because then it's kind of like that's my routine not your routine i want you guys to have your own routine um but yeah so pretty much that is how i um do my spiritual baths and I'll do it for about 30 minutes and then the best time to do this would be on a full moon you can also do it on a new moon and that's really when you can connect with your womb and then you can really manifest and create what you want to create uh, through your womb so those are the two best times new moon and full moon so yes that would be the first step that I would say to womb healing that would be the first thing that I would do um, and just listening to your womb listening to what it's telling you does it hurt does it ache what's happening with your moon time listening to all those things and really thinking and thinking back on what your womb has been trying to tell you i think that's all that i want to say about the spiritual bath if you guys have any additional questions go ahead and comment those down below because right now i can't think of anything else that i want to say um but i am going to be talking about foods in the next thing because foods play a huge part like that is the the milk and honey of womb healing is the foods that you are feeding your body oh my gosh and that's really how you he you heal your body and your womb um like to the fullest extent so my next video on womb healing will be telling you the foods that you should be eating to heal your womb and i'll really be getting into the more medical things like fibroids and um PCOS and things like that. Spiritual baths are for beginners. I mean, they're for everybody, but it's a really good place to start. And it's also, if you have more emotional um, baggage than actual physical baggage, um, yeah. So spiritual baths are a really, really good place for everybody to start, but it's the bread and honey for the emotional side of women. Does that make sense? Am I making sense? I hope that makes sense. Um, yeah. So that's all I have for this video. Stay tuned for the next one and bye guys.